Alright, next up is a long jump instead of a backflip. Yeah, that's the problem when uh, those two moves require the same input. You have the one move that uh, it occurs while you're standing still, aka have zero momentum, and uh, the other one it occurs if you have some momentum. Anywho. So we have a little puzzle. And the puzzle here is all these barrels. Excuse me. All these barrels are under numbers. And you have to throw the barrels and destroy them in the correct order. And I do believe it is... I'm not sure if it's always the same order, but you are given enough time to find out. Like, I was messing this up a little bit, and I still had 16 seconds left when it was over. Let's go on the banana for Diddy Kong. Woohoo! And... Diddy Kong's final 10 bananas are in that balloon. That was a little too slow on the uptake there. I just barely got it that time. Next up... Lanky Kong. Oh boy. So we gotta find ourselves a trombone. That's the saxophone, that's the triangle, so here is the trombone. So in here is a little... some kind of structure. We need to take care of the enemies that spawn in here. There's two naughties and uh, three critters that uh, will spawn in here. Take them down, which is quite the easy task. And we'll have lanky pads pop up. Au revoir. balloon our way up the structure and hopefully not have uh, momentum screw us over Woo Just, uh, orient myself here there we go need to aim a little higher there's the banana balloon here, which will take Lanky to 100 regular bananas. That is, if I can shoot it. Okay, this is going nowhere fast. There we go. Standing on the edge. Uh, camera, hello? Right, and finally, on the fun follies of the five-door, uh, igloo, we have the saxophone that I was standing off of, thus I used energy instead of actually doing the thing, even though I was totally on the pad. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, am I on the wrong thing? Am I on the wrong thing? I'm a total idiot. That one's my fault. Uh, duh. How to play uh, How to play saxophone on trombone pad. LOL. Anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, 
I'm gonna do this little mini game here where uh, you have this target that uh, decreases in size the more you hit it. And you have to. Ow! You have to hit it three times. And the Kashas respawn in ten fucking seconds, which is incredibly frustrating. Especially when you're just trying to hit this thing. And then you fuck it up and have to leave. Get out. Yes, the get out guy lives here, too. Strange, isn't it? Wow, I was on the fucking target. Fuck you, game. Just fuck you. I'm gonna restore my health. That is bullshit. Now you see why dealing with cautious are so is so fucking annoying. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Maybe I will actually be able to uh, do this in peace. That would be nice. There we go. Banana. And that's four golden bananas for each gong. And I think we have everybody's blueprints, so effectively we have all the golden bananas. There's the second banana fairy for the level, in case you were wondering. And I'm gonna completely miss it. I wanna kill the Kasha and get this as quickly as possible. Because that's him respawning there, and I got it. I got it! No probs. Except for when there are. Fuck. Will you fucking stop? Ass hat. There we go, now we can get out of this hellhole. Fuck cautious, they're the worst. Uh, let's take banana port one. Get Lanky Kong out. Have him take banana port numero dos. I know there's other Trovins golf doors, but th this is the one that I know. And of course, you only have to know the location of one of them. Let me just check something real quick. Okay, cool. Got 500 regular bananas, so I don't need to worry about anything. All right, this requires 350 regular bananas to get into. That's 70 bananas per Kong. So, I hope you've got your uh, collectathon skills sharpened to get into this boss fight. And even then, you will be sorely disappointed with this boss fight once you finally do uh, get into a thing. I will explain why in a moment, but let's just say, remember how uh, the boss fight in the last world was a rehash? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet.
So this is the first uh, boss door to require you to give uh, give bananas as at least four of the five Kongs. Because you see it is greater than 300. I don't know why I felt the need to, uh, to explain that. I suppose you just call it filling the air. Because otherwise there would be dead air. And God knows there's enough of that in this playthrough. But, uh, we will be fighting this boss as Donkey Kong, so that is how I'm handling the last uh, 50 of these 350 uh, regular bananas. Turn the key. And it is indeed Donkey himself. And let's go. Boss time. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to, uh, try and, uh, rebuild this boss by, uh, banging it back together with our own faces. So, it's the first boss of the game. Again. So here's Army Dillo 2. So, we're gonna count to four here. Start sound largely the same as uh, the first fight with this guy, but uh, there will be a new twist uh, after this little thing here. There will be a new twist to this fight, and the twist is there's like jets, and the jets can create shockwaves, of course. Just backflip over them. Not that hard to backflip over. Alright, now we're gonna count to nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whack. Like, he's really not that much tougher than the first iteration. Fun fact, uh, for, like, uh, game store demos of this game, this boss was available, uh, in the Jungle Japes setting, but with the Crystal Caves move set. So, it, essentially it was this fight, but in the, uh, Jungle Japes boss. So now we're gonna count to 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. See, now the first boss fight would have ended here. But all it's gonna do is just gonna knock those off of there. This armadillo is still determined. Still determined to take us down. Even though it has clearly failed to do so. So you might have noticed last time when it went into this little phase here, we had to deal with two shockwaves. Well, predictably, now we're going to have to deal with three. Isn't that an enthralling boss strategy? Just increase the number of things. Alright, now another new twist. This giant thing, which we'll see in a moment, is gonna fire off a bunch of these. Just keep moving. It gets real easy to dodge. I'm, I'm gonna take the hit here, because that's just faster. It won't be faster if I don't grab the TNT barrel, though. What the fuck? Okay, I have never seen that. So we're gonna do this again. I guess I didn't hit the snout properly. So once again, I'm just gonna take the damage. Bonk. And 
Whack. Boss defeated. Only takes one more hit than he did in the previous iteration. At least Dogadon 2 fucking tried. But we get ourselves a boss key. And we are almost done here. We just have blueprints to turn in. So we'll take Banana Port 2. Mosey on over to Snides. And showcase the, uh, the blueprint turning in animation for Crystal Caves. This isn't a joke, huh? Oh, shit! I forgot! Thank you, Snide, for reminding me. Snide has reminded me that I don't have the blueprint for, uh, Donkey Kong. I was wondering why this was going so fast. And it turns out, yes, I am in fact forgetting a blueprint. It's not too far from here. Essentially, you know how we started, uh, that whole mess of, uh, taking down the giant Kasha that was wrecking havoc on us? By, uh, tossing rocks down at us? Well... We go off to the right here. There is indeed a, uh... The splat. So we'll just button mash our way to victory. And there we go. It even drop us right back down to uh, near the area where Snides is. Thank you, Snide, for catching that. Because I sure as fuck would not have. So... Here's actually... <laughs> Here's actually the uh, animation. So, we're getting more elaborate. It's pushing the button, and pushing the button causes the test of strength. So basically, we've seen all the animations, and the rest of them are going to be like combinations. Anyway, I'm going to turn in the rest of my blueprints, which I have six more to turn in, so be right back. Alright, let's take a look at those blueprints. So we almost have a complete picture now. There's only seven blueprints left in the game. So, uh... Yeah. We have some sort of... Rube Goldberg-like contraption. Okay, not really. Just... Just, it's a contraption. It's supposed to shoot a thing. Pretty sure we could, uh, come up with that ourselves, but, you know. Whatever. So... Take a look at this again. Crystal Caves is 100% clear. And the first time I did this, it took 2 hours and 46 minutes. Second time I did this, it took uh, an hour and 47 minutes. And uh, now my uh, recording is coming up to the 1 hour and 31 minute mark. So I'm doing these much more cleanly every time. So that's going to do it for this recording session. Next time, we're going to tie up a loose end in World 5, and then head to the seventh and final proper world. See you then.